Finally, I want to give it up for SG Home Care Incorporated. SG Home Care is the premier provider it's for in-home medical equipment and supplies. They provide the best, guys, best quality products and best here service live at for their patients' uh, home care needs. Girls the Cross Team here at Santiago High School. Visit their website at SGDMD.com. Oh my god, look at how pretty. Oh my god, look at how pretty. The sky Thank is like all purple our and pink. For supporting the program. And I love the palm trees in the background. Palm trees. So I'm here supporting one of my friend's kids that goes to school here. And uh, she's a senior, so they had their senior walk today. What's up, Neil? How are you? Hey, Martin D. Yo, 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 yo. What's good? How you doing? Good to see you guys. I'm gonna do another live stream tonight, you guys. I'm making, um, I'm gonna make pizza roses tonight. So if you guys can't stay too long, I'm here. Hopefully you guys can be there tonight for my pizza roses. I have never seen a lacrosse game before, you guys. This is my first time seeing lacrosse. Where I went to high school, they did not have lacrosse. <laughs> Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. So see a little bit better. Is anybody familiar with lacrosse? Let me. So, my friend's daughter, she's the goalie on that team, on the Sharks team. And it's so cool for their like monitor over here. They play sharks in the water, and it says, it says shark infested waters. <laughs> This is kind of cool. Hello, hello. How is everything going, Neil? Neil, please feel free to post both of your channels um, on there. Your new one and your old one. Martin D, how's life treating you? Good to see you guys. So, from my understanding, the cross is like hockey? You guys are familiar with <coughs> hockey. It's pretty similar, just not on the ice skating rink. So I said I would film it um, for my <coughs> neighbors, my friends. <coughs> Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. There you go. Now you guys can see what's going on. I just hope I can follow them as fast as they can run. <coughs> Shark goal! Mm. It says Shark goal. What's up, Junior? Junior? Hello, Rhonda. Got your pom poms ready to cheerlead? Yes, we sure do. Goal number 17. My friend's going to cheerlead Joel too. Conrad. <laughs> They're gonna be cheering for their their daughter. They're also gonna be playing this. They're playing Norco High School, um, but I think they said that this game doesn't count for whatever reason. I'm not too exactly sure why, but they're playing this game. Let me see if I can clean off the lens, you guys, really quick. Hold on. I don't know if it's. Okay, wait, let me see. I feel like the lens is very... Let me put it like that. Hey, Anna. You've never seen the cross? Yeah, me too. I've never, I've never seen it before. I have no clue how it's played. Me neither. So he just says that they stop at halftime and they stop at the end when it's over, but... He was saying something like if they're more than 10 points ahead, they let the clock run. Something like that. I'm not too sure. Maybe he can explain it better to you guys. <laughs> but I wanted to come show my support because she is a senior, so I can't see her next year. Only this year. Anna, I'm gonna be making um, some pizza roses tonight on my live stream. I love the colors. Their colors, their school colors are like a teal and black. Still, go get the Cougars. There'll be one player down. 
and they're playing against Norco, which is the Cougars. And I like their colors too. They're like a royal blue and like a white. I don't know if it's a white or a light blue. They're really pretty colors. Almost like a royal blue. Like the Royals uh, baseball team. I know there is a stick involved. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see. I don't know if you guys can see it that well. Uh oh. That's too far. Let me zoom out. <laughs> or is that too good? Ronda, yeah, but it's no pineapple pizza. <laughs> right? I like pineapple on my pizza too. I'm trying to get like a. If it's too far, too close, I don't know. I'm trying to see it. I told them that I would record it for them, so that's what I'm doing. So that way they can go back and look. Don't go. I should have been coming uh, more often and see what single daddies are here. <laughs> I'm playing. Hey, it's up light. How are you? Good to see you. I'm just here for like a quick live stream. I'm uh, watching a lacrosse game at Santiago High School. So yesterday, you guys, I was in the hospital and I got out and I was Start not going to go. Just good. So, so I haven't been going live too much, but I'll start going live more after the 24th of the month. My hospitalization stuff will mainly be done by then. Hey, what's up, Michael cool. Jr.? <laughs> hey, Pac. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Smash the thumbs up for my friend's daughter. Please and thank you. Uh -huh. These young girls, they got like perfect bodies from all these running back and forth. I wish I had a, a flat stomach like some of these girls. They exercise all the time. Um, be still my heart, the Goal, light is here. Aww. <laughs> Alexandria so tonight they have their senior walk and they just basically um, had their parents walk on the uh, field with them and um, announce where they're going to be going to college and all of that good stuff. I missed all of that, but there was a beautiful singer, I guess it was, she was a senior, and she sang the national anthem really beautifully. So Rhonda, how many of the parents sneaked in some booze? <laughs> I don't know. Did you guys sneak in any booze? They want to know. No. <laughs> no, they wouldn't do that. <laughs> she said, if we could, we would. <laughs> That's what she said. No. Oh, they're down there. Mm -hmm. What's up, Packable? Michael Jr., I'm finally doing a live stream where you can participate. <laughs> and it's not late. I'm going to go on and do like a real live stream later today, you guys. This is just kind of recording for my neighbors. For their daughter. Maybe she can make music again. Uh oh, they're coming down, they're coming down, they're coming down, they're coming fast. Man, I don't even know if I can keep up. <laughs> oh man. To be honest, I'm not even sure which girl has the ball. <laughs> Most of the time, it's messy. <laughs> it's hard to see. The ball's not big like a soccer ball. Oh, there it is. They're by the goalie right now. They can run behind the goalie? They can? 
Yeah. That is so crazy. They can run behind the goalie. I'm learning. There's no out of bounds. <laughs> Jump goal. All right. The sharks have attacked again. Good. Okay, they got a shark going on the screen. Shark attack. <laughs> <laughs> Goal by number 21, Kaylani Mason. Kaylani. That's a pretty name, huh? Yeah, I actually used to know somebody named Kaylani. Kaylee Williams. So they play all this uh, hip music over here that's gonna get me banned <laughs> on YouTube. What's up, Pac? How's everybody doing today? Love Light, did you go say hi to your mom today? Okay, they're here in the middle. Let's see who's gonna get the ball. Is the ball like a tennis ball or what? It's the size of it. It's the size, size of a it. tennis ball? Mm -hmm. Maybe a little but is it more like a softball feeling? Yeah. Oh, it's hard. Oh, okay. How many of you guys went to school and you had a lacrosse team on your high, at your high school? We didn't have that. We didn't have that as an option. And here they have... Um, Here they have a swimming pool too, which I didn't have a swimming pool at my high school either. They built it after I graduated. So that would have been fun to be like on the swim team or something. It would have kept me in shape. <laughs> I definitely was not a cheerleader either. <laughs> So lost where the ball's at. I'm just trying my best. Okay, there we go. And so the guys supposedly when they do it, they have um helmets on because they're really like aggressive with each other. So I guess to protect them, like in football. Yes, uh, mom day. She was. She asked about me. Oh, we'll tell her I said hello. You see, look at they're all the way back here behind the goalie thing. Like that's trippy. Oh, that trips me out. So the goalie needs to have eyes in the back of their head and in the front <laughs> and on the sides. So they even have different color sticks too. Hey Noah, what's up? I went to Compton High School. Um, what's this the cross you speak up? That's how I felt, junior, junior. I have never heard of it. Well, not that I haven't heard of it. I've actually heard of it before. I just have never seen it. Never watched it played. I'm not familiar with the rules or anything. But luckily there's some roughs out on the field that are familiar. That's Emma, right? On this side? Right here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's uh -huh. what I thought. Yeah. Okay. So that's where she's at right now. She's the goalie right here. So shout out to her. For being the goalie. Yeah. 
It's hot, chilling today. Oh, just chilling. I thought I read hot. I don't know why I saw hot. Aloha. How are you doing, Noah? Went to Jordan. We were lucky to have a football team. You know, some schools they don't have like the funds to have all these teams, and I never knew that. I thought every school it like had the funds to the city or state or something. I don't know. Oh, here they go. Coming on down. Come on, Emma. You got this. You got this, girl. Looks like I may be paying a little lacrosse here with my electric zapper back. <laughs> the mosquitoes, they're starting to come out, aren't they? <laughs> we want to all play. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, Nancy, how are you? Good to see you in the chat. Those of you guys who are here right now, I'm going to be doing... um pizza roses tonight. I'm going to be making them at home. I've never made them before. Oh. All right, good job. So hopefully I'll do just as good of a job as Emma did catching that ball and blocking and blocking that that shot that they tried to sh shoot in there. Good job, Emma. Yeah, she's good. I would have totally let that go in and probably 10 more. <laughs> What's up, Alyssa? Welcome to the chat. Thank you for joining. We have some little kids behind me banging, so that's what the banging noise is. Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining today. Make sure you smash that thumbs up for these lovely high school students. Hey Owen, how's it going? Hey Jen, Jenny G. Good to see everybody. Jenny, I've been thinking about you. I hope all is well. How's it going, Owen? Alyssa, where are you from? And Owen, where are you from? And Nancy, where are you from? <laughs> I'm sorry, people are passing by. We mostly want them to stay on that side over there so they can get the goals in. Coming on down. Oh, you see, I see the ball. I finally see the ball. <laughs> There's like such a delay on this. So this is more like hockey than soccer? Yeah? I guess you were going to say if it's closest, what closest sport would be? Hockey? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. She said it's closest to hockey then. This is my kind of hockey though. I'd rather be out in the heat. <laughs> my daughter, she used to ice skate back in the day and oh my god, I couldn't handle it. My body can't handle the cold oh, yeah, at right. all. Really? Oh. Hey, Crying Hippie, how are you? Good to see you. You're in Illinois? Oh, okay. Hey, Amy and my doggies, bodies. How are you? Hi, Daisy. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Score is North Coast Cougars 2. Good cheer and blessings. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, Walker. And so lacrosse is hard. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is hard. Just running would have me out of breath. <laughs> You're in Fresno. Oh, okay. Next time I go to Fresno. Hold on, you guys. They're having like a little break. So let me, well, they're having a break. Let me get my, um, let me try to plug this in. I don't know if I have a lot of charging. Let me, get, let me plug it in. Do you need help? You need a warm sweatshirt. We've got spirit wear. 
Come on up, support your program. If you need help, I'll help you. Got it? My friend, he broke his ankle. So, he's over here on crutches. Um, do you know anyone on the team? Yes, I do. I do know somebody on the team. That's why I'm here supporting them. Um, Nancy's in the house. Yep. <laughs> So how many of you guys are going to come back from my live stream tonight where I'm going to be making pizza roses. I'm going to be making it for Wolf Wolf so hopefully he'll be able to join us later. East Coast here? Okay Owen, so maybe I have to go live earlier for my East Coast folks. I was just trying to get an idea of um, where everybody lives so maybe those who are on the East Coast I can go live a little bit earlier for y'all. Or maybe I can start doing two live streams a day and then do one for the East Coast and one on the West Coast that want to join and then do one for the West Coast peeps late at night. My night owls. Mm, uh -uh. Me, me, me. You guys all live on the East Coast? What's up, Cactus Peep? How are you? Welcome to the chat. Good job. There's Emma right there, guys. Say hi! <laughs> She's saying hi. <laughs> there you go. You're doing good job! <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> you live in Glendora. Oh my gosh, you're so close to me, Nancy. But you were born in Fresno. Oh, okay, Nancy, let me know. I go to Glendora area often, so... Maybe one day we can have lunch or something. Let me know. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to put it over his head, so I'll um, put him on blast with this. Broken uh, Look at the sunset, you guys. It's so beautiful. Look at the different colors, the oranges, the pinks, the purples, the palm trees. Oh my god, that's so beautiful to me. I love it. Rhonda, how many vaccines do you need uh, for your Africa trip? Um, well, I had yellow fever, but I had that many years ago. It's good for a lifetime. And... Um, you need typhoid. Um, you can get either an oral vaccine or a shot. The oral one though, if you take it, it's worth, uh, it lasts longer. I think one's like five years. Reminds me of that picture you brought. What picture? And then you need to have um, malaria medication. You need to get um, hepatitis. Uh, a and I had a hepatitis uh, B series. Um, I'm trying to think what else I took because a lot of them I've taken years ago. Like I don't have to have it, but um, if you have like a certain hospital, like Kaiser Permanente, for example, they have a. Um, like a traveling nurse advice nurse that will give you everything that you need to take and then i did the anti-malaria medication and i take that uh i take i took larium and i took larium for two weeks prior to going to africa uh and then i take it every week that i'm in africa for larium you only have to take one one dose a week which i like better than doxycycline or um, some of the other medications that they make you take um, like twice a day or even maybe more and so i'm a very forgetful person so one tab uh once a week was my type of thing and then you take that for every week that you're there in nigeria or in africa and then you take uh for up to two to four weeks when you come back just depending on what your doctor wants you to do. 
Rhonda, that is so interesting. Why do some countries uh, require it and others um, in Africa? Okay, so some areas in Africa, they are prone to different things. I think polio is like another thing that you can take, a polio vaccine. Um, it just depends on what exactly they have at that moment. So it, it does change from year to year. For the most part, it's the same, but there are things that change. Like polio is one that um, just recently they started uh, making it do. But it does differ from country to country. So I would su just suggest like um, talk to a travel nurse or a travel doctor and they can tell you um, for what country you're going, what best, what's the best medications for or vaccines for you to get. And um, when I went to Nigeria before, they've actually stopped me to make sure I've had those vaccines. Not because anybody really cares, but because they wanted to um, find me, like get some money from me so I could pass. But I was able to provide them documentation. I always provide documentation when I leave to Africa. You'll be in Africa too, but not required any vaccines. Which part of Africa did you go though? Because maybe that part of Africa didn't have it. Let me, it's kind of like the way I can explain it is the United States, it's big, right? But on the West Coast, we have different things than they have on the East Coast. You know, like chickens and ticks and, you know, not to say we don't have them here, but it's not as prevalent. Oh, Morocco. Sounds like fun. Happy that you're home safe, yeah. I got pulled out of the car at gunpoint, so I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm happy that I'm home safe. Thank you so much, Jenny. I know those vaccines are needed uh, for the water there, the food. So the hepatitis A is for the food. The, um, the mosquitoes is for the malaria. And then yellow fever it is for the yellow fever. Uh, yeah, that was scary. Were you on my live when that happened? Hey, Jennifer, how's it going? Good to see you. Hey, you guys, check out Jennifer's channel. Jennifer has a, a new channel she started in Hawaii. Super exciting. I would love to um, make it to some of your live streams. I know you're like, what, a couple, like two to three hours behind us, right, Jennifer? So I'm not sure if you do live streams more in the evening or on the weekends. Norco! No, <laughs> we got some Norco fans behind us. We don't want Norco to win. We want the Sharks to win. <laughs> These kids are saying, go Norco. You missed that one, Jenny? Oh, I had to actually take it down because um, they confiscated my phone when I was in Africa. They went through everything. Um, the things you can do freely here in the United States, you cannot do over there. Like, I literally was just recording the scenery, and we came up on the police, and they confiscated my phone for that. But I think they were worried that um, they would get, like, caught asking people for money, and it's illegal to ask people for money, but all of the police do it over there. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. I'm happy I'm home safe too. <laughs> Luckily, the guy that was in the back seat of the car with me, he actually knew the police. So even though they were still hard on me, they let me go. So I was, I was happy about that. Very happy about that. <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to be making a trip down to uh, the police station or not. Be a penalty against the children. Yeah, be to keep them from incriminating themselves. Right they wanted the, the video erased. But luckily, it didn't go to my... Don't it go. didn't go to my... Um... Oh, look at See, they're back over there again. This is crazy to me. So every quarter, they switch sides instead of halftime? Yes. Oh, okay. No, there is a halftime. We just oh, had it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Every so, quarter. Yes. Yeah. And then they'll switch over there. Oh, okay. After this is over. So yeah, the, the goalies switch sides every quarter. Isn't that crazy? Instead of at half. Um, sorry, I was 
I was talking about some other stuff, but um, yeah, so they luckily it went to directly to YouTube, so it didn't stay on my phone, but I privated it on YouTube just so there wasn't any problems. But had it gone straight to my phone, I would have been more in trouble. So, because I didn't have enough time to like erase it, my mom's like, erase it, erase it, erase it, but they pulled me out too quickly for me to even go in, and plus, I was a little nervous. It's a little chilly out here, but it's been actually really nice in California, or at least Southern California, the last few days. The sun's been out. I'm Mexican and I won't uh, go to Tijuana. Oh, I went to Tijuana. You know, I don't, I don't let places stop me based on if they say to go there or not travel there or whatever. I still go. Hey, Rome, the gentleman. How are you guys doing? How are you doing, Rome? You guys, make sure you guys check out Rome's channel as well. He has a, a channel. I subscribe to his channel. Um, it's spring in Toronto, so lovely weather. Yeah, I love springtime. You know what? I didn't realize how much I love spring. Because so many people are fall people, but I just don't like the cold. I mean, the colors and watching the trees change. That would be nice if I lived in another state. But here in California, we don't really see like much of that changing of the, the trees, colors and stuff like you do in other states. You're doing well, beautiful weather today. Yeah, it was a really nice day. I actually took Sierra for a walk. I took her to the park. And then when we came back home, we sat outside on my patio and I ate my lunch out there and we were just chilling. She was just basking in the sunlight. She really enjoyed it. Toronto is nice, High Park and cherry blossoms. Oh, cherry blossoms are so cute. I love cherry blossoms. My, um, one of my fish tanks is actually cherry blossoms. And there's this uh, festival that they have in, I think it's in Northern California somewhere. I have to look into it. It might be at this time. It only lasts for like so long where they're blooming and stuff, but um, it's in Northern California somewhere and I wanted to go. It's a really cool uh, little spot that has a lot of like cherry blossoms. The seasons are pretty in Canada, except winter uh, for me. Oh my gosh, in Canada, I bet it would be cold. Which part of Canada are you in again? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the cold either. But your body, does it get acclimated to the cold? Realm, have you ever played lacrosse before? Has anybody in the chat played it or, or watched it before? Or are we the only one that's doing it for the first time? Sort of. <laughs> so you sort of acclimate and sort of don't. <laughs> I'm looking for a room or a bachelor for June 1st and I think I found... I don't even know how to say that. What is it? Edto Bicoke? <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. Isn't that in Canada too? No, you never played. I still don't understand the rules, but it looks cool. Yeah, it does look cool. I figured a lot of my Canadian friends on here would jump on just because they're like huge hockey fans and since it's like similar to hockey. Oh man, the ball is right there. Honestly, I low-key wish the ball was like slightly bigger for us old folks that are lying. Look at them behind the goal. <laughs> First goal! Woo! All right. The Sharks got another goal. Hey, we love you! 
Hello. I don't know if you remember me. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> Go over number 47. No, no, no. <laughs> What's the score? The score is 13 3. 3? Yeah. Sharks. Huh? We're, we're, we're up. <laughs> we're up by 11, you guys. Hey, what's up, 911 scene observer? How you doing? Uh oh. You don't know you're beautiful. You're so desperately. No. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope you're doing good. Smash that thumbs up, you guys. They're doing good, you guys. They are up. So they're playing. Who are they playing on um, Saturday? Newport Harbor. Newport Harbor? Mm -hmm. All the way in Newport Beach? No, here. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a home game. Oh, it's a home game. No, but I mean, Newport Harbor is from Newport Beach, right? What was that? Newport Harbor is Newport Beach. Uh, Oh, wow, yes. they come all the way out here I to play them? Yeah, like we, we traveled, he had to travel to Palos Verdes a oh, few weeks ago. Palos Verdes, really? <laughs> Maybe because not every school has a lacrosse team. I'm wondering oh, if that's, that's why they're so far away. Oh, yeah, that's true. Some of them, mm -hmm. yeah. This is my first. Oh, man. Loving out loud, I was watching, uh, what is door for? Yeah. Oh, Rhonda singing? <laughs> I always sing. Sorry, guys. You're doing dishes? Be right back. Okay, crying hippie in the pomo. Welcome, everybody. Hey, Ali from Iraq. How are you doing? 6 a.m. Iraq time. Ooh, that is early. You're up and about watching a lacrosse game at 6 a.m.? Well, welcome, Ali from Iraq. <laughs> I enjoyed your live stream when you were at the beach having drinks. Oh, me too. I had a good time. Did you guys see those um, benches that were like swings? I was trying to get on one drunk. It was funny. And my uncle was like, um, basically he was like, should I take you back drunk like this? <laughs> okay. The ball is behind again. Uh oh. Mm. Oh, the ball is way over here. I'm just now seeing the ball. <laughs> it's all the way over here. Oh, man. I wonder how many women like swing those sticks and knock people up in the face. And they lose a, a set of teeth. My uncle was funny. <laughs> My uncle's wild and he's always doing so much stuff. It's hard to get him away from doing all that and get him to take me to go anywhere. <laughs> oh shoot, the ball's like way over by the pool area. <laughs> they went to go run to get it. Oh no, there it is. She swooped it, swooped it up. Look, you see the shark on the on the field? Good memories. <laughs> yeah, I had a good time, you guys. I wish I could have stayed a little bit longer. Kind of ruined the buzz having to leave, but it is what it is. Mm. Ah, uh, see, I mean, I have those and highs in class. I was surprised at the houses. Um, some of the females had like, wow, wow. How many of you guys have um, gone to your high school reunions? I have mine coming up this this next year. 2025. Ooh! All right, come on, get it in. I, I keep wanting to call travel and <laughs> all these other things. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, she keeps blocking them. Their goalie is good. Mm -mm. You skipped your 20 year? I've been literally to like one, two, three, four, five, six. I've been to like six reunions. Not all of them were mine. But definitely good times. I even went to the reunions of other high schools. Poppy Poppy. Or <laughs> hello, hello. Good to see you. Welcome to the chat. Oh, that would be I haven't seen a, a lacrosse game on YouTube. I'm sure they have a lot of them. I haven't never looked it up. But this has prompted me to want to learn a little bit more about lacrosse. So that way I'll be in the know. <laughs> what is that? Is that like the end of the game? Half time? Ladies and gentlemen, that's the third quarter. After three, Dorco Did you guys hear that siren? <laughs> I thought I was getting arrested here. <laughs> started at the bottom just buying and oh, flipping cars wow that's what a lot of people do with houses too and they move up in the road Cougar it's thunderstorm in toronto How about right a big now? round of applause for your seniors your class of 2024 north coast cougars <laughs> lacrosse team Dark fans, Woo! on your feet for your seniors. Woo! Number one, Here, let's stand up. Alexandria he Bennett. said on your feet for your seniors. Number zero, Danielle Brown. Number three, Emerson Gray. Ooh, stay warm. Number 14, Emma Pinion. Number 16, Haley Dorshak. Number 17, Kendall Conrad. Number 20, Cameron Pena. Number 23, Dara Rimm. And number 47, Kirsten Webb. Number 7, Kaylin White. And number 18, Emma Johan. Shark senior class. They just now announced them all. That's awesome. I know, huh? Yeah. How long did he say it was gonna last? That's good. And she got accepted into who is it? San Marcos? Yes. San Marcos, yeah. On a scholarship. So shout out to her. Woo -woo. Oh yeah, he got it. Is it right? San Marcos, yes. Yeah, that's what he said. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, good so job. Oh, yeah. I get headaches before storms and you can predict them. Oh, wow. Just kind of like how dogs can predict earthquakes and stuff. Not not calling you a dog or anything. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want you to take that reference as that's not. But I'm saying that's, that's kind of crazy. A lot of people can um, tell like if they have like knee problems or back problems to the cold that affects them. And they can tell when it's going to come. I love watching storm. An extreme weather. How many of you guys would like want to be storm chasers and chase like tornadoes and stuff like that? I have one year to get my body on point, you guys, for for uh, my reunion next year. <laughs> so I can be looking hot. <laughs> You live in East Toronto. You guys could help uh, with the rent places because I, I'm not really familiar with anything in Toronto or anywhere in Canada. Except Vancouver. I've been to Vancouver, British Columbia. And I went to like... Um, 
Victoria as well. I'm glad that you guys could help each other on here. All my Canadians, fellow Canadians helping other fellow Canadians. I love how the Canadians could come together with the Americans and have enjoy a live stream together. And other countries as well, like Australia and Iraq. I think Simon might be from London, different people. Seems really nice and we hit it off on the phone. So I'm going to be viewing tomorrow. Oh, that's good. You're from Salt Lake, Salt Lake, Utah, Poppy. Well, welcome to the chat. Do you like lacrosse? Nope, up and running. It's king now, and 63 bus replaces the cars. How about <laughs> you want to go to New York? North New York? Cross the border? You know, I actually had a friend that lived in Toronto and he would cross over all the time. I didn't go shopping over here. I think he had family over here though, so I'm not sure how he was able to. In North York and York too? Is North York the same as Northern New York? Or is that a different part of Canada? So it's all GTA from Brampton to Pickering. <laughs> That's like my I'm not even familiar with any of those areas. I need to go to the visit that time. I want to go see Niagara Falls in Canada. And I want to go on the Canadian side because I heard it's beautiful. I'm more pretty on that side than the US side. <laughs> my dream is to go to Las Vegas. All right. You can go. Make your dream happen. Who be able to do it? expensive if you're disabled alone and no other income well i hear you crying heavy there's a lot of people i was actually on um lacy's stream earlier another las vegas vlogger and she was um saying about how you can get like home loans and stuff like that and there was these different programs um one of the people in the chat was saying that they were disabled and had very low income too and it was so hard for them to live and let me tell you, if you live in California and you live on that income, it's very, very hard to live as well. It's expensive everywhere. Inflation is just crazy, but California, New York, certain states, Hawaii, super, super, super expensive. You're there like four times a year. <laughs> I go. I used to go to Las Vegas like two times, like two weeks out of a month. <laughs> I'm going to California for weeks now. Ooh, ooh, there's uh, somebody on the ground. Uh oh. Shake it off. That's what they have to play in the song. Shake it off. <laughs> I hope she's okay. So all the all the kids, I guess, go on their knees when somebody gets hurt. Yeah, on the other team, they go on their knees, or they crouch down. She's okay. 
carbon tax higher now. So me. All right. Woo. She got it. Woo. <coughs> so many taxes in Canada. When you were alive or dead. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm trying to see where the ball is at. They're right here, I think. So the score is 14 4, I think. 14 4. Don't get me wrong, I got some days like I'm messy, like I can clean up after myself, everything. Now, you better work with Emily. Invite my but what I did is I applied for I get my own All four Disney parks in Florida? Oh, I've been to Florida so many times and not so many times but um, I've done a lot of those parks. I have family that lives out there very close to all the parks. So I would go stay with them and go to the goal by number twenty one, Kaylani Major. Go to the parks and then um, I actually have a friend that lives in uh, Kiss Me as well. Um, I'm gonna go back soon. Um, I'm not gonna go back until after I finish at the hospital though. I, um, before I left to Africa, I was in the hospital a lot, and then I said when I came back from Africa, I was gonna be in the hospital a lot. Um, mainly because I had to move a lot of my appointments and different things um, in those two weeks or two and a half weeks or that I was gone. I had to move them either before or after, so um, I actually had IVs in my, I don't know if you guys can see in my wrist right here. You see that little red dot? Yesterday I had procedures I was doing. I have Disney Channel too. I don't. Oh no, I'm sorry. I don't have Disney Channel. I used to have Disney Channel when I had cable, but I did away with my, with my cable because I don't watch TV. But I have Disney Channel on my phone. The ball should have a right, a strobe light, so we could see where the hell they're at. That's why I'm like, I'm going back and forth, and I'm, I, I told my friend, I said I should have brought my glasses. She gave me hers. She's like, here, and I was like, no, I can't see. <laughs> I could barely see it. There's a ball right there. They said that the ball should have a strobe light on it, so they could tell where the ball's at. Eileen, Eileen, they said that the ball should have a strobe light on it, so we could tell where the ball's at. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? You can see it. Right? We can see it better. Like an LED light, that would be nice. Yeah, daily rate is crazy. I mean, even though like I pay sixteen fifty or something like that for the um year for the parks. Um I still think it's worth it if you're able to go a lot, you know what I mean? get your money's worth yeah so is Knott's Berry Farm that's why I have a Knott's Berry Farm pass too because it's more reasonable and plus they feed you <laughs> on that one but yeah I'm gonna, so after the 24th I won't be in the hospital as much and then I'll be able to um, go back to the parks but until then I'm kind of like not I'm not able to stream too much until then because I'm literally at the hospital every single day and sometimes all day long. Oh, Wonderland? Yeah, it's actually, um, isn't that from Knott's Berry Farm, like Cedar Fair Park? 
I actually have um, a pass to that park as well, but I just have to go. I have a pass to anywhere in the United States that Cedar Fair is. I pay the most expensive pass for all the parks. I would be so scared that they would hit me in the face with that stick and... Mm -hmm. What is that thing on the end of the stick called? Yeah. Oh, the net? Yeah, the net and the stick. I would, I would be scared. I would be hit in the face with that. Thing. It happened. That's why the girl. Was yeah, I'm not, she said that's why the girl was on the ground. She got hit in the face with it. Yeah, that's the thing about um, Cedar Parks. They're not always all year long because of the weather. Even the one in Northern California, it's not open all year long. But they are um, teaming up with. Um, Six Flags Magic Mountain. So I'm hoping in time we'll be able to. I, I think Cedar bought. I'm not sure exactly how it is, but I think Cedar bought uh, Magic Mountain. So hopefully we'll be able to, or maybe they are in conjunction with each other. I don't know. Owning it. I'm not too exactly sure. Oh, well, here we go. I, it's on the ground. The ball's on the ground. Fireworks, good timing. I like to watch the fireworks. But the cedar parks don't really have a lot of fireworks that often. I think they do it on like 4th of July. And maybe like one other like New Year's or something like that. They used to do it at Knott's Berry Farm like at 9 o'clock. I don't know if it was just on the weekends or every day. But it was definitely more frequently than they do now. If you guys haven't smashed that thumbs up yet, please smash it for Emma's <laughs> senior game here. One of the last few games of the year. A lot of a lot of schools are having prom on Saturday. Is she having prom on Saturday too? No, she just did last Saturday. Oh, last Saturday. Mm -hmm. A lot of schools are having prom this Saturday coming yes, up. Yes. Mm -hmm. I remember those prom days. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna show me a picture of her? Her prom. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna look we're gonna look at her prom pics right now. Well, I'm gonna look at it. Oh that's nice. Can I show that? Yeah. Okay, hold on. So wait, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it. Oh oh oh. Did you get it? I deleted it back. Oh. I'm just kidding, I'm playing. Oh, oh. <laughs> She planning. freaked out right now. She's like, okay, so That's here's the girl that I'm watching uh, her game right here. This is her prom picture. Her name is Emma. She's beautiful. And that's her boyfriend. That's sitting right next to me. So this is her senior prom. Very pretty. Very pretty dress, yeah. I like blue. You see, it's like almost my color of my nails. Oh, Emma has her nails that color. Is it really? Oh my yeah. gosh! Look at she said her nails are like the same color, like so her prom dress was like close to these colors. <laughs> they do Halloween mazes in Wonderland. Oh yeah, I feel like um, well in Northern California they do like different stuff. They do like where you can knock on the door and like get treats out of all these different places. It's kind of cute for the kids. I would say it's more for like little kids where Knott's Berry Farm is for bigger, <coughs> bigger kids <laughs> like me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And, um, but they used to have it where they had like a not scary farm up north as well, but they did away with it because I guess they had a lot of trouble. And I know Knott's was having a lot of trouble with troublemakers coming in too. So I don't know why they did away with it at one and not the other when there's clearly trouble everywhere <laughs> I know big kids adults <laughs> you always go back and hit the like videos I missed oh thank you so much well I don't know if you're talking about me but <laughs> sorry I'm trying to follow the chat and watch the game at the same time so I apologize if I'm missing any of your guys's comments Again, if you guys didn't um, catch earlier, I will be going live later tonight. It's 
gonna be a late live stream because I gotta go to my friend Laura's house after this and go pick up something. And then from there, I have to go to the grocery store. Ooh, the sharks are drowning. Norco. <laughs> Goal by number five. It's drowning. So <laughs> Trying to cut the beef again. <laughs> All right, sounds good. By number forty-seven. Here's the web. <laughs> you worked at Knots for a few years. Oh yeah, you were telling me that. Those poor monsters, goals, goals, and evil uh, clowns would get suckered on um, punch. Oh my god, and harassed. I bet. Maybe because they were like scared of them and then they kept harassing them, so then they came back and retaliated. Who knows? You can do it, put your back into it. Hopefully, I'm still awake. Maybe um, not going into it. We could always watch the replay if we can't make it. But yeah, I'm gonna be making if as long as I can find the proper stuff, I'm gonna be making uh, pizza roses. Pizza roses. So roses made out of pizza. Yeah, I hope so. We got a graduation to get through. Ladies lacrosse players. What a great commitment. Congratulations to all you ladies. That was time. They did good. They did really good. It's always a good day when uh, your team comes out on top, you know? He's over here cheering them on. They were like, you're not I know. Yeah, I mean, left. Oh, there we go. You gotta go and congratulate the teams. Oh, look at, did they do that instead of the hands? To prevent COVID or what? I don't know. They click their little nets and sticks. Oh, is that you in the Snoopy costume? I'm dead. They said, great job, ladies. <laughs> All right, everybody is leaving. So it gives him, huh? we'll wait till everyone leaves. It'll be easier. Uh -huh. We are in luck. All right, you guys. Great game. Great game. It was a really good game. Very. I'm gonna have to like read up on the rules and then come back and watch it again, and yeah. then I'll know what's going on. Yeah, there's there's a few stuff. Yeah, there's more games for a while. So they don't have like flags like soccer that they throw up and stuff like that. Well, yeah, no. there's a penalty that they. There's throw. a penalty flag. It's a it's a card, like a yellow card. Oh, a yellow card. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. All right. Yeah, that's. Uh, it's a fun. They did really good. They did great. Yeah. Are my nails done again? My nails have been done, but I gotta get them done again. Because this is the color I have right now. Bob Sigmund actually chose out this color for me. Ah, oh, wait, I'm trying to get it in the, in the light. There, there you go. You see, it's already growing out now. Um, there I am. I've had him already since I've been back. That's pretty good. That's really good. Thank you so much. You saw the Woodstock costume? Ooh, is that what you did? Were you a Woodstock? Or how about Belle, uh, God, the, 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 the female Snoopy? Take good photos? Yeah. You take good pictures? Yeah. I, was, I was always able to hit them, but my dad... Okay guys, well I'm gonna get off of here, so I'm gonna go um, live in a little while, or, or do you guys want to come with me on my drive? I'll let you guys decide. You want to come with me on my drive to go pick up something from my friends? Late live stream tonight. Yeah, pizza, pizza rose, roses. <laughs> so let me know. 
if you guys want to go with me on my drive or not. I need to go to the grocery store too. This is not exactly. I'll show you some pictures on this monster. I'll tell you. I think I think I'm gonna end it and that my phone charge up you guys that way I'm not draining it and that way I can do my live stream what do you guys think you want a road trip you want a road trip Amy okay we can do it all right I'll take you guys with me for a little bit and then when I get to the grocery store then I'll end it and then let it charge up some you cut through the frozen beef that can be hard sometimes, huh? I'm gonna let it thaw out a little bit. This was very interesting. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. This was very nice. Can you guys wait for her to come out then? Yeah, maybe because it's getting close to the end of the year. No, I think it's, um, and those parents that well, slacked all year long or like, right? no, no, no. It's like Norco school game, you know, wow. and then parents could have seen your night. Oh, okay. So, anyways, um, we'll go wait something like that. Let you oh, okay. They go to the locker room for a few. And then we'll come support the girls. Say hi. Okay. And then we go. Or be oh, okay. Yeah. And say hi to everybody. Yep. Or yeah, and come to the team. And, you know, oh, okay. That's yeah. Nice. Oh, we did, and then I think Logan got her nose, right? Oh, no, that was from the team. The, um, the, uh, the, the team did. Uh-huh. With the black jacket? Uh-huh. Oh, that's Tiger Woods. Long, long time ago. From high school. High school. Oh, oh, my gosh. Yeah. We just passed Tiger Woods' ex-girlfriend. She just went down the stairs over there. She, she's married now, but yep, T Tiger liked those blonde girls. <laughs> oh wow, 20 something years ago. It's in there, so it's not my, it's not my truck for a long time. Man, he knows the scoop, huh? Dude, Mom, you know the scoop of everything. Oh, isn't it? That's the guy we go to the river with. Right there, like right there, right there. That's him? Yeah, you, go to the, you go to the river with him? Oh, yeah. Last year, last year. Oh, man. Yes, it is. Whoa. So excited for pizza live stream. Yeah, I'm going to end my live stream and then do the pizza. Um, But I'll take you guys with me in the car for a little bit. Like, on my way to my friend's house. Okay, hold on. I'm going to head to Norco right now. Let me see if I can put this down for a second. You guys, I gotta pack up my stuff. So give me just a moment. Oh, you know what? I can't put it down because I don't have the the tri. Ooh, who's there? That's him. Yeah, he's happy on that. Yeah. All right. Sorry, guys. I have you guys focusing all the way up on the sky. Let me zoom out so you guys. <laughs> it's cold. You gotta get some coffee or some hot coffee. I'm not sure where my keys are even. I'm trying to look for my keys. Man, I should have come to more of these games. Yeah. One thing I miss about high school, like going to like the football games and the basketball games and stuff like that. Yeah, and then he is there at the right. That's right with a bunch of people. Right. Oh, you weren't there, I'm sorry. When I was a sophomore, I was dating a senior on the varsity basketball team. He was the, 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 he the basketball games and then uh, Will Chamberlain would show up there too. It was months ago, but it was a 9 Because I went to school with his, um, his nephews, Oliver and Olin Chamberlain. And play basketball. Oh, Ava does. Ava does. Well, everyone in the class. He's waiting for everybody to clear out before he goes down. Oh. 
Is that a shark's uh, is that a shark's uh, blanket? Yes, they the junior varsity made them. Oh, that's cool. Um, for the seniors, yeah. Oh, for, oh, they made them for all the seniors. Yeah, the ones that are. That's cool. Yeah. Why didn't you see that? Mm -hmm. they're, 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 yeah. Okay, they that's made nice. this um, blanket for all the seniors. Oh, can you see? Yeah, I'm just trying to focus really quick. Okay, there we go. And it has her name and then the year. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Like those they made them for all the seniors. I love the colors too. I know, I love it. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. yeah. I was like thinking at the last second, I was like, oh, let me try to wear something close to the colors, but I didn't really have the exact color too. So I was like, pretty good. I, I tried for like last second. I mean, I do have that color just wear in my yeah. closet. I don't know. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for having me. Thank you. I really enjoyed it. I, I'm gonna read up on it. And then, what time is the game on Saturday? I, I have an I appointment. Oh, I have an appointment. Yeah, you said. Um, I that's what the thing says. 10 a.m. So. Is there another game before the end of the year? Oh yeah, there'll be seven or eight. Yeah. Because it's see, Okay, so we'll try to make it to one of those things. And they seem like they do pretty good, so maybe they're gonna make it like uh, further. So yeah, the yeah. I guess, um, they did they last said last year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Mom, did you give her some flowers? We. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, for Emma. Oh, I yeah. know, I know, I know. Oh. I'm just playing. Yeah. I'm saying yeah, for yeah. you. Oh. I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, guys. It was really good seeing you. Too. I gotta go drive um, to my friend's house. I'm gonna pick up a, a table oh. for Sierra's birthday. Uh, but you know what I'm missing? What? I need chairs. I don't have chairs. Oh, no. You guys don't have any. You know what? We might. Let me check. How many? I'll have, have to check. When I get home, and the, when I get home, mm -hmm. I'll look in the garage. Like those fold-up chairs. Yeah. You know which ones I'm talking Yeah, because we bought some for um, mm -hmm. during Christmas time or Thanksgiving. Okay. So let me. I'll find out. If so, and then I'll like put something like um, a, a, a sticky note or something underneath, so oh. I know it's yours. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh -huh. sure. I'll look when I get home. Because I have one, and then I borrowed twelve from my friend Laura, and then oh. and then I need maybe like. I mean, I don't know. I don't even think that many people are coming. Maybe like not even ten or whatever. But just to be sure, like, what if people yeah. bring people and I don't want them to have nowhere to sit? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You want to make sure. Yeah. I'd rather have too many than not enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll so. check when I get home and I'll let you know. Okay. Thank yeah, you so much. Welcome. It was good seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. Where's your friend going? In Norco. Yeah. Oh, not too far. Yeah, it's not too far. So I'm gonna go right now. I'm going now. Then. Yeah. No, then I'm gonna go to the grocery store and then I'm gonna do a live stream. I'm gonna do a pizza roses tonight on my live stream. Pizza roses to make? To yeah, eat? I've never made it before, so they might not come out looking anything like roses, but I'm gonna try. Did you get a recipe for it or like a? Uh huh. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to do it. Show me. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it'll be on my live stream, so you can oh, look yeah. over there. Oh, yeah, I just go on there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What time? Um, well, I mean, I'll probably do it probably after you're in bed, but if you want to go back tomorrow, I can look at you, can, you can look at them. Cool. And see if they came out looking like roses or if they came out looking like flat pizza. I don't know. We'll see what they come out looking like. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for having Thank you for having me. And you look so pretty with your little girl. All right, I'll, I'll see you later. With the chairs. Okay, yeah, let me know. Thank you so much. Bye, time. See you later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I had fun. Focusing on pain. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. Swear. Bye, guys. Take care. Thank you. All right, guys. We're gonna start heading down. It was really nice. I'm glad they invited me. I've been wanting to come and see one of her games. Okay, hold on, you guys. I'm trying not to bite the dust climbing down the thing. Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Okay, so let's go down. <laughs> They're running right here. They're celebrating. <laughs> Everybody's meeting up with their families. Okay, you guys. Let me try to go down these stairs without rolling down them. That's so cute that everybody came for their senior night. That's so cute. <laughs> 
Number 23 senior. Aww. How fun. All right, let me see if I can find my keys, y'all. And then I'm gonna go pick up a table for my friend Laura. Oh my gosh, everybody got flowers. They're doing such a good job. That's so cool. Look at the little picture. Down here. Little doggy dog. That track color uh, reminds me of a salmon salmon sushi. <laughs> it's kind of like a reddish color. Let me put it. All right, let's go. Sorry if I missed any of your guys' comments. I've been like walking and talking and all right let's go ahead and get in this car i'm not even sure how i'm not familiar with like this high school like i had to like gps how to get here so i don't know how to get out either <laughs> but we'll figure it out we'll figure it out together y'all all right let me throw this stuff in the car And I'll put you guys. Let me see if I can get these bags off my head. I'm gonna go for a little drive with me. Is Amy in here still? Amy is the one who wanted to go on the drive. So are you here, Amy? Hey, what's up, Bob? We just finished the game. The Sharks won. So they're happy about that. Put you guys on this. Hold on, y'all. Give me a second. You're here? Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, you're the one who want to go on the drive with me, Steph. I was like, I hope she's still here. All right. Ah. Let me get in the car. You can wear whatever you want to wear, but don't troll my chat. Everybody's accepted in the chat, but just don't troll. You've already said that a couple times. Thank you so much, Bob. Appreciate that. I got 1.2 kilos of um, ground beef for $10. Oh my gosh, one third, and I forgot to cut the other in half. Oh, that's why it was frozen and you were working really hard to separate it. Usually when I come home, if I buy meat, I'll separate it into different like meals and then I'll freeze it like individually, like after it's been separated. Thank you so much, Bob. How are you doing? I hope you're doing good. Hey, Dr. Sammy Munchkin. How's everybody doing? Thank you so much for joining me tonight, you guys. Thank you for coming and joining me for this lacrosse game here at Santiago High School. They did really, really good. I'm very proud of her. Um, I just wanted the parents to have like that moment with her because it, it was senior night. So they did like the announcements and um, they all went out on the field with their parents and were able to like walk and get their names read amongst the crowd and what school they're going to or if they um sorry i'm trying to plug you guys in here what school they're going to or if they got um accepted to any college with scholarships or anything so they were able to do all that this is a no troll zone exactly <laughs> i mean i accept everybody but you don't need to be out trolling it. <laughs> it's all right, uh, Jetta. <laughs> Jetta just wrote me. I didn't know you were alive. Okay. I hope I can get out of here without running over anybody. 
their school color is part black so black and teal so hopefully more people are wearing the teal so I can see them better and not run them over I'm just kidding. all right guys I'm gonna put you guys Can figure it out you have more beauty in my iron after i learned of your devotion to africa oh thank you so much crying hippie i appreciate that yeah i've been um doing i've been doing um medical missions to africa since 2008 so quite some time there's a lot of um, new people that have joined the team. So I'm one of the old school ones that have been doing it for quite some time. But there's people that have been doing it longer than I have. I don't know what's going on with this. Hold on, guys. Give me a second. I need to try to tighten this. I think, I think it's not tightening well. Cars coming. I don't know what it's not tightening. Ah, sorry, hold on, I guys. I'm trying to tighten it. Let's see if it tightens, but I don't know. Almost a decade. Wait, what did you say? Africa is my favorite place in the world. Really? Did you see some of my live streams that I put up? I might have a few more other live streams that I haven't posted yet. Not live streams, I'm sorry, but recordings. I recorded like quite a bit while I was there. I just, you know, I since I've been back, I've been so busy. I haven't been able to post anything yet. before I get out on the main road. All right, Rhonda's roadies, are you ready to go out on the road with me? Let's go. Thank you again for joining. And if you haven't smashed that thumbs up yet, please take a moment and smash that thumbs up. I think in 94 uh, or certification I'm sorry or maybe 93 93 94 and then I started working when I graduated in 95 so um, when I was in high school uh, for the summertime I um, sorry you guys I'm just making sure my car is okay really quick so I'm getting a little distracted but in the summertime I would go and train and I did my CNA for one of them and then I did an acute TNA and I did my first aid and CPR um, so I did those and as soon as I graduated high school I literally had a job uh, in line as soon as I graduated and, um, and I worked as a CNA and then I went to school and I got my nursing license in 2000. I was actually in nursing school before 
before that, but then my daughter had gotten really sick, so I dropped out and then I went back and and I completed everything. Um, plus, I was going to college at the same time as I was in nursing school, so I was doing both. Um, I literally was going to school like all day, all night, <laughs> and um, and then even after I got my nursing license, I still continued to go to college, and I ended up getting five degrees. So, um, it was a lot of schooling. <laughs> oh, man. Rhonda, I work on... Let's see if you need help. Oh, you work on cars? Junior, junior? Where do you live? In, in Southern California, junior, junior? Or you live in, um... turned down a street that I don't even know what street I turned down but well it worked out I was able to find my way <laughs> all right I should have just gone to the grocery store where you oh no the grocery store is behind us I'll go get the groceries so it'll be fresh and so so cold still when we get home if I go and get them now they'll probably get too warm by the time I get back Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Hopefully it was just a one time, one and done type of thing. 
close to him, but I mean, I talk to him on, probably like on a daily, you know? And um, I wanted to do an interview with him, but I don't know if he'll be like willing to do an interview on my live stream. But he's going to be moving like soon out of state. And now is the time to ask him if I'm going to ask him. But I'm like kind of low-key nervous, you guys. I don't want to ask him because I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I ask him or should I not ask him? I asked my neighbor if um, if he would interview him because this person, um, he was a professional... I don't know, I guess you would call it athlete, but on top of that, he was also like a, I don't know how you call him, like a newscaster or a news reporter, not like really a newscaster or news reporter, but like for that specific sport. And so, <coughs> kind of like, I think how like Charles Barkley became like a news reporter for like the basketball. So I want to ask him, but I'm so scared, you guys. I was in an anchor. Thank you. Is that what it is? A news anchor? Because it's not like a, like for the news per se, but like for like where you're commenting, like kind of like how Chick Earn did, kind of thing like that for his specific sport. So he's actually really, really like well known. And um, my cousins and my uncle are actually really, really big fans of him. So I was kind of wanting to do it, but I don't know. <laughs> Is it an analyst? Is that what they are? Because they're analyzing the game? Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys have heard me talk about him before. Um, but yeah, I want to, I want to, I want to talk. I want to interview him, but I'm, I would have to like get, because I'm not really familiar with that particular sport that he does. And um, I, I want to have like the neighbor help me like write questions like that I could ask him. So I don't sound like stupid in front of him. But you know, one thing I really do like is he's a Chiefs fan. Because I actually went, uh, me and Sierra, we went. We went to go to like um, a place by my house um, to watch like a football game and he actually was there and I guess he, I don't know, I guess he was raised in Kansas so or Kansas or Missouri, one of the two. Um, should I say Bob? <laughs> I guess you would call it a sport. Um, but my... It's like, I'll just say it's a certain type of racing. I'll just say that. I think it's racing. <laughs> you see why I couldn't do the interview myself? <laughs> I really have zero knowledge on the situation. You guys, guess what? I'm Sierra Avenue, look at this. Look at, oh, Sierra Avenue. <laughs> sure, why not? Okay, the sport is motocross. So I'm sure you guys know who it is now that I said that. But he's my neighbor. So I don't know if you guys like motocross, but I think like those, those people that are into that type of thing would really like enjoy an interview with him so I don't know but I just don't know if he'll say yes he might say no or I don't know but I guess he just got back into it I thought he had retired but I guess he's still in that sport because I have heard he's going to be doing something very soon Any um, motocross uh, superstars? <laughs> He's actually. 
actually really, really, really well known. Salmon fella, you get an entry into the drawing at the end of the month. <laughs> so should I interview him or not? Bob, are you still guessing? We already have the correct answer. I'm not even sure how to get to my friend's house. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going. I'm gonna turn down this street, but I don't know if this is where I need to go. I have a trouble like finding our house all the time. Like I know how to get there, but I don't know how to get there. Does that make sense? And if you got Insta? Just a moment, y'all. I'm trying to get this car off my ass, then I'll read these things. Is he turning here too? Of course he would be turning here. Let me pull to this. Oh no, he's not. Uh Simon Fella, hello. It says, can't say I know him offhand, but I guess he was some um stories to tell. It might be pretty cool. Okay, so basically, um, I think he was like the what do you call it? Analyst for um, Fox. Is it Fox News or something like that? Not Fox News, but Fox for the cross motocross. So um, he is very well known. I mean, like I know my other neighbors. Like, oh my god, do you know who lives there? Well, I don't. I don't watch motocross personally, but. It might be some good content. Rhonda, grab uh, me some strong uh, Cuban espresso. I just noticed I have only instant coffee. Oh, sure. I'll pick that up at the store for you right away. Does anybody else in the chat know who he is besides Salmon Fella? Salmon Fella guessed it quick, though. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of motocross people, so I'm sure that... How did you guess so quickly? Um, Cam Jeffrey... Oh, Emig. Oh, that's his first name? I didn't know that. Born December first is an American former professional, but he's actually going back into it. So he's actually racing, I think in a couple weeks. He um, competed in the okay, um, motocross championships from 1988 to 1990. Oh, okay. Do so you see? You see why I would have a hard.
hard time interviewing him. Now, if he was like basketball or something that I'm more familiar with, like I have no knowledge of motocross at all, like zero knowledge. How much? It, it helps me look up a lot of different things. Okay, let me see. I don't know if my friend. Uh, I'm trying to go. The house is up here, freaking ginormous. Okay, hold on really quick. Let me see where her house is. This is. A, it's like I know her house, but I have to like really study the houses and see which one's hers. I think this one is. Damn. Okay. They got a big ass uh, trailer here. I might have to like. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go pick up like a table really quick from my friend. So, talk amongst yourselves, and I will put this table in the back. Um, born 1970, age 53 years. Can't. Wow, Bob's got the whole scoop because of Wiki. Um, I got out of this sport um, before I did serious damage. Ooh, he's um, uh, he seems like he's doing okay he's up walking around good now my cousins and my uncle they used to race motorcycles too and um my one cousin he actually broke his neck so uh, after that happened a lot of them got out of uh motorcycle racing and stuff like that um you did motocross that's so crazy I didn't know that, Simon Fella. That's awesome. So how many of you guys think I should ask him if he would do an interview on my live stream? Or do you think he would look at me like a dumbass? Like, no, I'm not going to do that. Or should I ask my neighbor? Um, No, they're not married anymore, Bob. He actually got a divorce. Um, just ask for it so the wiki is not exactly correct <laughs> Um, just ask laughing out loud and I'm so nervous though. I'm really nervous. I actually invited him to Sierra's birthday, but I don't think he's gonna come because he has a German shepherd and he has another little dog. His his dog's names are Butters and Elvis. Isn't that cute? wiki is not what did you say uh here's scrambles and the single single track that's really cool sam and Felda. so you stopped because you had an injury or you just didn't want to have an injury i am nervous i'm I, i'm nervous not 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 so much to interview him i'm not nervous about that i'm nervous because i don't know what to ask him i don't know anything about motocross i don't know anybody who's ever done motocross uh i don't know what it's about i don't know <laughs> like the questions to ask you understand me like like if it was basketball i could say okay you know how many points did you score in your lifetime you know different things like that but i don't know what to ask for a motocross type interview you going to Pride Night at Disneyland? Um, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I was wanting to ask King B if he's going. If so, maybe. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to go grab this table really quick. I'll be right back. Just hold tight. Talk amongst yourselves. Make sure you smash that like if you haven't yet. Please and thank you. Ask him if he likes broccoli. I'm dead. <laughs> Isn't Salmon Fellow the broccoli guy? Okay, hold on. I'll be back, guys. Give me a second. Let me get her before she goes to bed. Oh, wait. What time is it? Is it late? I don't know. Hold on.
Okay. Well, just um, I probably won't come Sunday then, since I don't know what time you're getting home. Okay, I'll let. You. Okay, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Bye, Laura. See you later. It's really nice. I like it. Okay, sorry guys. I'm sorry. Thank you guys for still being here. Um, she just got a new RV. And oh my god, this thing is like a house. It's so nice inside. It has it has how many beds? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think like six or seven beds in it. That's how big it is, you guys. And it expands open. It's so nice. Anyways, okay. Hi Anna V crying hippie. There was a ghost uh bike ride two days ago in T.O. for a guy named Lon. Okay, hold on. He my belt on. I got a heart condition too. I uh, just noticed as I thought some dudes were breaking into her car. Oh, wait, it is. Wait, hey, what the fuck? That's not wrong. <laughs> yeah, that was me. Oh, I, it was me and my friend Laura. I don't know if you guys saw Laura. Uh, reading now, Anna. Thank you. And hope um, I don't know him. Let's see. Let me go back. Uh, Bob Sigmund. I took my oldest um, to motocross all the time. Uh, this is shame on me for not knowing Emig laughing out loud. That was um, in the late 90s. It makes sense that it's popularity uh rose in the 90s motocross is so punk rock <laughs> uh i almost got one free and a few um what does it say buds ride them with the right side to toronto uh electric bike like you know it's so crazy i was talking to this guy i went to go eat yesterday at um what is it at um, TGI Fridays and one of the guys there had like three huskies so he was showing me the pictures he's like I have a bicycle and I just ha let the huskies ride um, like run while he rides his bike I don't know if you're talking about that kind of bike 911 is not working in seven states from cyber attack oh shit is that what we're talking about is this guy she is waiting to interview Bob Sigmund Crying hippie is still a pretty big spot. Shake them if you got them. List uh, and tied for the seventh on the combined AMA motocross supercross uh, wins list. He's seventh on the combined AMA. Oh, okay. Yes, crying hippie. That's the guy. He has a strong resume. Uh, you need to ask him, Rhonda. I'm sure he would do it as I see him on several youtube mx channels really i don't know i'll i'll ask him but actually i prefer i prefer my neighbor um that i was just with to ask him because he's closer to him like they're they're very close like and i'm not i'm not like close to him like i mean i'll talk to him like I've, I, he's actually was really sweet like one day my back was this is even before I knew who he was um, my back was really bad and I couldn't lift something and I was like excuse me do you mind helping me lift this out of my car he was so sweet came over and helped me so then um, that day sorry that day that um, I actually saw him um, for the 
it wasn't the Super Bowl. It was uh, a, a party, a football party. I mean, a football game prior to, and they were um, prior to the Super Bowl. And I actually bought him a drink. But when I saw him, I was like, hey, because I never saw the waitress give him the drink. And I was like, did they ever give you the drink? And he's like, no, they never gave me a drink. The waitress actually delivered it to somebody else and put it on my tab. I was so mad. But I gave it to him to thank him for lifting the stuff for me. What time is the cooking? <laughs> Can't be here uh, for bloody ever. I'm deaf. <laughs> um, I still have to go to the grocery store. So I'm thinking like maybe I should end my life so I can charge up my phone. Because it's only at 55%. Uh, your car sort of sounds like... <laughs> still have to go to the grocery store uh, let's see mm -mm -mm. I wonder if I could buy just like a couple of them I don't know if the kids are up though they're gonna want to eat so, so maybe I'll have to uh, buy some for the kids too Nine states in USA don't have 911 service. Ooh, it's nine states, not seven. Is California one of them? A cyber attack? That's kind of big time, right? So is every state have a 911 though? Or I'm not sure, like... I'm sure if I go to another country, it's not called 911, right? Scary for sure, Ohio. What other What other states? Which nine? We're confused. We want to know. Omoleto channel just uploaded a video called BCB. In my um, notifications, yes, statewide, 911. Oh, it's in all states. Let me check. Rhonda driving a Kawasaki. I'm dead, <laughs> seven fella. A Kawasaki. I used to actually have a Honda motorcycle. It was a quad though. Oh wait, maybe it wasn't a quad. No, I didn't have a quad. That was a lie. I had a three wheel. I don't think it was a quad. 911 outage. South Dakota. And portions of Nevada, Texas, and Nebraska. Oh, wow. That is very crazy. No biggie. It's back up in Vegas. Well, that's good. Can you imagine if you were a 911 operator? I actually low-key wanted to do that. And I'm not sure, but two of my friends that may or may not come to Sierra's party on Sunday, um, well, at least one of them 
for sure will might not go but um they are former 911 uh, operators that's gotta be like a really high stressful job especially like being on an end where there's a major situation going on like a murder like an intruder in the house or you know somebody stops breathing you gotta really be quick and think on your toes very quickly like how to help these people and how to calm them down oh you guys we should stop here uh, one of my friends she's actually my friend she's in um oceanside right now but when she comes back i'm gonna ask her if we can go there together uh, that'll be a fun little live stream to do with you guys coffee now <laughs> you're so silly I can go get some coffee for you you know what I need to figure out Chloe if you're ever watching this Chloe unicorn I need to get your address so I can mail like the stuff to you and everybody that I I I um I need to send out all this stuff now that I've been back but I've just been so busy at the hospital I haven't even been able to live stream and then I'm going to do my end of the month uh, thing at the end of the month, which is coming up really soon here, too. Anyway, let's see. Those three-wheelers, I think they would, do they flip easier, like the three-wheelers or the two-wheelers flip? We used to go, like, to the sand dunes and ride up the sand dunes. Let's go, Rhonda. What does that say? I, I, uh, busa? Is that what it says? Hey, ya busa. Thank you. Forgot I had the cannot one. The coffee. <laughs> hey, it reminded you. Be right back. Do you have some more meat to cut, crying hippie? I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're going to go get the kettle off the coffee. Day I slept on my neck like wrong and I'm 
Bill. What kind of bike is it again, Anna V? Elon Musk always asks that too when he comes in. Why is your car rattle like? Well, he doesn't say rattlesnakes, but <laughs> it always rattles. Well, part of it is this thing that's rattling because the car's shaking. Like that. See if I hold it. It's not as bad. I need to mount though, Elon.
eight packable. I wish they can't try them because that means more for me. No, I'm just playing. I'll be nice and share with y'all. At least I'll let you guys have a little taste. Happy to see you on live again. Been a long time. Aww. Thank you, Noah. I appreciate you guys. You guys are so sweet. Like I said, uh, Noah, I, I've been in the hospital a lot lately. And um, having to take care of a lot of stuff for Sierra's birthday. And just a lot of stuff going on. Um, actually, you guys keep my roommate in your prayers. She's actually in the hospital right now. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, so I'm taking care of all of that right now. So... Okay, we are at the grocery store. 18 18 dollars 7 what is that? Oh, 799 MSRP 60 months uh only 399 33 per month. That's kind of doable. Damn. Oh wait, does that say 18,000? Oh, it says 18,799. Damn, I my eyes are so bad, you guys. I cannot read. Uh, God bless her and what's going on. Yeah. I like to eat um, from my garden. Ooh, that sounds good. So I told, we're only four away, you guys. Only four away from 50. Once it reaches 50, I'm going to end the live stream and then I'm going to um, restart it uh, with the pizza ones. So let me see if I can find... Love light, very cool. Farm table. She has a nice garden, Anna. A really nice garden. And I got to look for the seeds that um, she had given me because for Sierra's party, I'm actually going to do like a um, thing where they can plant the seeds and stuff like that. At Ches Love Lights. What does that say, Ches? What do you grow? She grows like zucchinis that are the size of like my car. They're huge. If you don't believe me, there. go back to my live stream that I did for the zombie. Um, I made like zombie zucchini, like um, zucchini boats. Not zombie, I'm sorry. Uh, mummy zucchini boats. And um, they were huge. Not as big as a car, but they were really big compared to the ones we get here in the stores. What's up, Buds Rios? How you doing? Sierra's birthday is on Monday, but her party is on Sunday. So, um, I'll probably, uh, go live to do the pizzas and then I probably won't be live again. Cause I'll be in the hospital again tomorrow. Um, I'll be in the hospital Saturday, Friday. Um, that only leaves me Friday to get stuff done for her party Friday and Sunday before the party. So I probably won't go live again. Uh, I mean, I might, I don't know. But I'll probably go live. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go live for her party or not. I haven't decided. Because it's really hard to be a host and also be like communicating with you guys. So unless I had somebody to help me do this portion of the, of the um, stream. While I'm hosting everybody. But what I will do is this. If I don't do her party... Um, or I might record it and then post it up later, or I might, um, what do you call it? Or I might show you like how everything, like the setup looks beforehand and then, um, and then not, not stream her party, but then her next day is her actual birthday. And then I'll do like a little birthday party for her that day. And I'll do like a little stream for her, just you guys and her. Maybe I'll do that because I'm thinking about taking her to um, the beach for her birthday <coughs> to a dog park by the beach, but I'm not sure. 
I'm always thinking I'm gonna be, I am I'm an ideal man for sure. You can get a matching sidecar for Sierra to put her in there and put the helmet on her and me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bob says, and they have one of with a blue trim because he knows I like blue. That would look good with you on the back and um, your leathers. <laughs> you can write it off as a tax expense. Zoom, zoom. And we can, oh my gosh, you're so silly. Rename the channel Ride with Rhonda. <laughs> that would sound bad, Bob. All kinds of lettuces, squashes, and carrots, and beans. She has so many different, this, it's like a nice, a nice size garden. God bless her and once, oh yeah, I already read that. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're only two away, two likes away. Happy we are going back to Knott's Berry Farm next Saturday. Oh, you guys are going next Saturday? Not this Saturday, but next Saturday, Ernesto? If so, I can try to go that following Saturday, but I usually have a doctor's appointment every Saturday morning, like around 10, and then I could go in the evening time. It's going to be a bitchin' party. It's going to be a pa-ty. P-A-W. <laughs> T-Y. Potty. <laughs> Not a potty, but a potty. <laughs> yes, the 28th. All right, Ernesto, I'll try to go that day and then maybe I can meet you. Because I wanted to go, well, I had wanted to go to Knott's for the Cranberry, I mean, Cranberry Festival, the <laughs> Boysenberry Festival. But um, but I, I did go to Bandon for the Cranberry Festival, though. No, just kidding. Um, I wanted to go, yeah, the pots. <laughs> I wanted to go, um, I wanted to go for the Boysenberry Festival, but because I was in Africa and I didn't get to go, like, after I came back. And I think before it hadn't started or it was only a couple days before it started. And I was, like, I was in Arizona and Nevada before that, so... I didn't get a chance to go this year, unfortunately, because I always like to go and do all the like different food tastings that they have with the boysenberries in it. But next, it's going to be after after they have the is it the peanuts? Did they do the peanuts and then the boysenberry and then oh that's so neat. I'm not sure what I'm to this soccer game is, but oh okay, my my friend Nina just wrote me right now. <laughs> Nina, she's so cute um do you still go to the parks Rhonda? um we went on friday and yesterday uh nancy i do go to the parks but i haven't been um since my past like started up again so um because i was in africa in nevada and i was in nevada another time too and then i was in arizona and then I've been in the hospital before I left Africa and after I got back from Africa. And then Sierra was, um, you know, having to see the doctors and stuff too. So I was making sure all that was taken care of. And then all the stuff I had to take care of before and after going to Africa, like all the bills. And I had to go to DMV and get smog checks and get my uh, registrations and you name it. I've had a lot of stuff I've been doing lately. So that's why I haven't been able to be live. You know, sometimes life has to come before my live streaming. Unfortunately, this is like not a permanent job for me too. So I have other jobs too. I have to attend to those on top of everything. So sometimes um, live streaming does get put to the side. And I don't mean to because I know you guys are... Um, Oh, that guy's really shining his lights in my eyes. Thank you so much for shining light on me. <laughs> uh, the museums are cool. Did you see the museums I went to in Africa? There was five of them. I, I don't think I got all five of them on the live stream, though, unfortunately. Aww. Cherie just wrote, thank you, Cherie, for your message. I'll read it afterwards. I can't read it while I'm on live. Love light. I cannot brag. Trust me. Um, my green thumb falls. You know what? I Anna. I wish I had a green thumb like that, but I I want to. I want to do planting like all this stuff at at Target. I wanted to buy for Sierra's party. Um, 
but I just feel like I had I had planted stuff last year for um, a live stream on Earth Day and it grew beautifully for like the first two weeks and then after that oh my gosh I think I went somewhere on vacation <laughs> I don't know and it just kind of like they grew so tall that they were like falling over <laughs> I think at that point I needed to replant them in something bigger but I didn't have nothing bigger so yeah it was fine while it lasted so I might do it this time I might get my green thumb together again one more like to be the big 50 and then I can oh I have 50 on my end uh <laughs> Press that like if you haven't. Thank you, Bob. Okay, you guys. How many of you guys are going to join me for my pizza stream? I'm going to do that as soon as I get home. I'm going to run in here, get some um, things. I'm going to end my live, and then I'll go live once I get home. How, does that sound good, guys? Are you going to come back and join me? How many people are going to come back and join me? Put a one in the chat if you're going to come back and join me. Bob, I know it's kind of late for you. And who else is on the East Coast? Crying Hippie, you're over there, too. Yeah, we got 50 likes, guys. Thank you so much. Lettuce is a good starter plant, Rhonda. Okay, so I should get lettuce then? I wanted to get tomatoes, but I know that my mom used to grow tomatoes and all like the squirrels and like groundhogs or whatever would go eat the, or not groundhogs, but gophers would go eat the tomatoes. Crying kick be the, what does it say? Hold on, let me go back up. The facade of the ROM is awesome. The range of motion. Modern meets traditional. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking of something different. Um, the a who abuses the F out of me. Sleep depriving me. Like a Nazi works there for the sound. Ah, wait. Let me go back. I'm gonna go back. I lost my spot and audio on some events. If he's lucky enough to um, get the job, um, night all. It's bedtime for Bobzo out here in the east. If I wake up later, I'll. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, rest well, Bob, and thanks for the info. I'm um, drowning on my copies, so I'm in. All right cool so anna v she said the other night sorry to put you on blast anna v <laughs> she's like go out go out and she's like i promise like i'll go to your live stream well i don't know if she said i'll promise but she said i'll be there i went out I'm like where's anna v she said she was gonna come join me <laughs> she didn't show up <laughs> it's all good though i'm i'm just playing with you anna i feel like toronto Tom oh tomatoes are easy Rhonda okay try hanging a tomato plant okay I love like fresh grown tomatoes they're so good they're better than the store ones he's a real good life oh my god type but comes across as a real nice guy oh wow there's a lot of there's a lot of those out there that come across as nice people and then they're really not <laughs> I know what you mean how about an herb garden? Some cilantro or some basil or some uh, rosemary. Even lavender would smell good. Thank you, Bob, for coming on. I appreciate you. Anna says, Bob, Sigmund, night, night. See ya in the next one. Love Light says, thanks, Bob. Simon Phyllis says, Bob, Sigmund, good night. All right, y'all. I'm going to run in here. I'm going to... I'm going to get um, the ingredients that I need to make these um, black roses that I'm going to be making. No, I'm kidding. We're going to try it out. I'm going to I'm gonna go check it out and see what we can do. Anytime, gang. Z, sleepy time for me. Great job, mods and chatters. Yes, it was such a nice live stream. And, of course, Rhonda. I will have dreams of Ro in her skin type. I'm dead. I busa. Leathers writing. Oh, my God. I'm dead <laughs> oh my god basil is good on almost anything i like basil on pizza i like to make like marguerite pizza with basil that sounds so amazing night all snorries <laughs> was fun yes thank you so much thank you so much for joining crying hippie you're not gonna be back bob's not gonna be back salmon fella are you coming back on my 
on my cooking live stream? Is Gordon Ramsay coming back to, to criticize my cooking? <laughs> I've never done it before, so I don't even know if it's going to work. Night all. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining. Much love to you guys. Make sure you smash that thumbs up. Leave a comment after the live stream. I'm here till end. Okay, no, I'm going to end it right now, Crying Hippie, and then I'm going to go live as soon as I get home. So maybe in like 45 minutes, I'll go live somewhere on there. Remember to hit that like and leave a comment. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Set that notification bell to all, please, and thank you. I have a shitload of stuff to do. Sorry. Okay, no worries, Simon Fella. 51 likes. Thank you, friends. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you all. And if you can come back, cool. If you can't come back, that's fine. It'll just me, be me and Anna. Unless, of course, she falls asleep on me. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> Hopefully somebody else will join us. Oh, and Neil came in earlier too. So shout out to Neil. Thank you so much for joining as well. Nancy, are you gonna are you gonna come back in the live stream? Daisy, will you be back later? Daisy, Daisy. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna finish putting the bouquets that I'm making for Sierra's party, you guys. I have to finish doing that tonight as well. But it was fun walk with Rhonda. Oh, thank you, Salmon Fella. Make sure you grow some broccoli for Earth Day, Salmon Fella. Yes, okay, you'll be back. Jenny G, Jenny G fell asleep. Well, she's she's in Canada on that side as well, so I'm sure she's tired. Daisy will be back. All right, maybe Jetta will be back. Jetta does late night streams sometimes. Crying Hippie said, hmm, <laughs> what are you thinking about Crying Hippie? Did she fall asleep? <laughs> Me too. Same town. Oh, you guys live in the same town? I didn't know that. Wait, are you the same person? <laughs> oh, the food. All right, guys, I'm going to run in because I don't want this store to close on me. So I'm going to go get the stuff and I will see you later. Much love. Peace out. Oh, yeah, you guys both live in Toronto. That's true. All right. I will see you guys in a bit. Bye. Leave a, leave a love note after the live stream. Remember, the end of the month is coming. Anybody who leaves a love note gets an entry into the gift card giveaway. All right, and we're combining last month and this month. All right, bye. <laughs> Hand pink waving. <laughs> bye, guys. Thanks again for joining. Shout out to my mods. You guys are awesome. Bye, guys.